What's up guys, VenomRB here, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different kind of video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what I use to record my videos, what I use to edit my videos, and then a few tips, I suppose you could say, just what I would recommend doing if you wanted to start a Roblox car YouTube channel like myself. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get into the first and most important thing, what I use to record with. Now, I use OBS Studio now, as you can see, I have running in the background so you all can see it, but basically, I use OBS Studio, it's completely free, and I will link this in the description below, and this is what a lot of people use to record their videos and stuff like that. It's what's nice about this is like there's so many different options you can change all this stuff There's so much you can do and Like I said, it's completely free now a lot of people are gonna maybe have a hard time running this because it can be laggy But if you have trouble running it then you can adjust it to uh, 30 frames per second and then that'll, you know, make it really easy to run. However, I don't really need that. I mean, I'm just using 2.1% of my CPU, so whatever. You can also live stream on this thing perfectly fine. This is what I use for all my live streams as well. And if you don't want to live stream with this, they also have an, a thing called OBS Streamlabs, which is another completely free program. And you can stream on that too, and that's more made for streaming, I suppose. But anyways, I will link where you can get this in the description below. It's pretty easy to set up. And once you have it all done, it's really nice. You can adjust audio level, desktop audio, like you can mute that, all that. And then you can have different uh, scenes. Like for example, when I click this, it'll take you into a Roblox game if I was in one. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. So for a recording software, I would recommend OBS Studio. Once more, links to this will be in the description below. Okay, so what I use for recording is once more very simple and it's DaVinci Resolve 16. Now this is completely free, which is quite nice, but it's still a good editing software like you have all this. There's no watermarks on OBS or this either, which is the main reason I like it. You see a lot of people using like Filmora, for example, and that's like a big watermark. But like for example, I could just bring in these two clips. And if you just wanna like put them together, you can. No problem at all, I'm gonna mute that because there's copyright music in there. And so if you want to like just like for example put two clips together That's completely fine. That's very easy, but then if you like want to add transitions you can Throw those in really easily just a lot of stuff you can do with this editor as I said It's completely free text. You know you go there edit blah 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 So it's quite easy to use it. Well, it's not quite easy at first, but after you get used to it It's really easy to use and you can't be free. So I mean I don't see why you wouldn't want to use this and uh, if anybody has a better solution they've found <laughs> that's free let me know in the comments but I don't think you will so what I use to edit is DaVinci Resolve 16 once more a link will be in the description to where you can get this and uh, yeah now for the section where I do some tips I suppose you could say so first up be original is basically the biggest tip I have for you. So like when I started out my YouTube channel, I did UD Stereotypes, which was something nobody else had done. So I was the first to make that, at least to my knowledge, I did a good amount of searching before I made it. So I believe I was the first to do UD Stereotypes. And that's basically what started off my entire channel. Now, once you've established your channel, you don't really have to be super original. Like for example, I swapped over to car reviews after some time and then I moved on and now I don't even know what I do but my tip my first and most important tip of them all is just be original because the hardest part of starting a YouTube channel is just starting out in the first place once you have like a small viewer base it'll just grow easily but you have to start it out and that's the most difficult part so my tip is be original so the next tip is just consistent uploads basically I know a lot of people are going to be like, Venom, you aren't consistently uploading, blah, blah, blah. I'm working on some stuff, like, 
personally and for this YouTube channel in the background, so you know, don't talk to me about that. <laughs> but just consistently uploading, and even if it's you just like have a schedule that's like every three days or whatever, just try and consistent upload. And this is what kills a lot of YouTube channels, like gonna call you out here for it, but your channel where you don't consistently upload. Even if your upload schedule's like once a week, it'll help your channel out tremendously. So yeah. Consistent uploads, this is what you'll see a lot of channels die from, in my opinion anyways, it's just not uploading consistently. So if you can get like every other day, which is basically what I've been doing now, or just daily uploading, or you know, even once a week, just consistency. My next tip is, and this is not, not something everybody can do, but well it's two tips in one. First up, run max graphics if you can, it just makes your videos look so much better. Like. Here is my car on max graphics, and there it is on one graphic. It's kind of sucky that people aren't going to want to watch content that isn't max graphics quality or at least high. That's just the way it is. I would even recommend, like, say you're running 50 FPS on, like, 3 graphics, but you can run 30 FPS on 6. I just bump it up to 6 graphics. Just get the highest graphics you can without just killing your FPS, basically. And then my second tip as well that goes with this is use a microphone. I know a lot of people don't like using them. It just makes the videos so much better because there's not reading involved and I know a lot of people don't like that. I mean, I used to do text videos myself and have lower quality. I moved over to microphone and then high max graphics because I got a new computer and it just helped me out a lot. So that's my other tips. Moving on to a few more tips. And my last tip is either be decent at the game you're making videos on or have a lot of knowledge on it or just you just want to be decent at it now i can't really talk on driving empire oops that, that's fine as you can see i only have 7818 miles which is barely anything and i'm broke but you know i'm trying to figure out this game that's really why i haven't made many videos on it yet i'm still trying to learn the basics here but uh just don't make videos on UD, it's like here's an example since I know a lot of you play UD. Don't make videos on UD if you have 500 miles trying to help people because you aren't taken seriously. If you're a rank 50 on UD and you're trying to explain to people how to grind to rank 400, that's not a good look. It's not going to really help you. Now once you're like fairly high, like maybe rank 300, 400 area or whatever you want to say, then maybe you can start telling people what to do. Just either be really knowledgeable on the game or be somewhat high up in it to like back up what you're saying because like if I start telling everybody how to grind when this is my entire car collection no one's gonna take that seriously so that's another tip is just be good at the game you're talking about it'll just help you seem a lot more professional and my final tip and really the most important and one I've done to myself stupidly take breaks you know what I mean? Just don't grind like crazy. Like there was a time when I uploaded for like three months straight and I was so burnt out and sick of YouTube and I'm kind of getting to that level now. Just take breaks. It doesn't really matter. I know I said consistency was important, but don't just burn yourself out entirely because then you'll never get back into it at all. So you want to be consistent, but also just take some breaks. Like it, no one's going to die if you don't upload for a day and stuff like that, so just take some breaks, it's not gonna end the world. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video, maybe this helped you out, maybe it didn't, I don't know. If you wanna download OBS Studio or DaVinci Resolve, links are in the description. I also should mention what I use to edit my thumbnails, which is sadly Paint 3D since I'm broke and can't afford Photoshop, that's a lie, but you know, I don't wanna buy it. So uh, yeah, that's basically all the tips I have and uh, what to use. Again, maybe it won't work for you, cause I don't know, but I would recommend using those softwares. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Sorry I haven't been super consistently uploading lately, working on some uh, stuff in real life because I have school and crap and other things for this channel, plus learning new games to make videos on, so it's all been kind of chaotic. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Venom out.